This is my first look with the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. Um, for this look, I used a couple of the creamy powder shades, and those were the dark purple there in the top row and the medium blue in the middle row. And I wanted to use a couple of the shimmers, especially that orangey one that is right in the middle of the palette. I was curious how that would go on top of the purple. And um, yeah, so let's just get into how I did this. So I started off with that purple and I layered it with a flat shader brush over the lid. It took me quite a while to build it up, um, but I was able to mostly blend it out with this brush. And then I went in with a really small brush near the lash line just to kind of build up the color there and in the crease because it was kind of hard to get that color to stick to the lash line. And then I just used a pencil brush around the edges to blend it out. And then I went in with the blue on a, an angled brush here in the inner part of the crease. I didn't want to cover up the purple that's on the lid, so I, I tried to keep enough distance away from that and just keep it as much as possible in the crease. The shade's pretty sheer, so it did require kind of a lot of building. And here I am adding that purple shade right next to that blue on the lower lash line. Um, I did have to go back in and add more of the blue afterwards. These creamy shades kind of, I don't know if they blend away too easily when I get too close to them with my brushes using other shades or what, but I did have to go back in um, several times throughout the look and kind of build these shades up again. And then I went in with this peachy shade. This is a powder matte, so nothing creamy about this one. Um, I just used a fluffy brush and I went right over the area where I have the creams. And again, you can see me um, building this purple up again. It did kind of fade after I spent some time adding the other shades and blending that peachy shade up in the crease. And I used that same peach on the inner part of the lower lash line with an angled brush. And yet again, building up this purple. And here I went in with the shade Illusion on the inner corner. Did just a few layers. This is uh, a sheer shade, so it didn't doesn't really show up super super well, but um, it does give kind of a little bit of a pink glow. And here I'm using that orangey shade on a kind of a flat shader brush, sort of like a lip brush. This one didn't have too much fallout, just um, just a little bit. <laughs> 